Hey everybody, my name is Joe with blockchain.wtf and I'm here today to show you how to use the My Ether wallet. First, if you do not already have a cryptocurrency wallet, you'd have to generate one and I will show you first how to do that. First, what you want to do is click on the new wallet tab here on the window and you scroll down and generate your own password. Now it's very important that you do not forget this password because you will need this password to access your wallet every single time. And unfortunately, if you forget your password, there's no password recovery system in play at the moment here. So do not forget this password. And once you've created your password, just go ahead and create a new wallet. Next, it will ask you to download or save your key store file. This is a very important file to, to save here because you will need it to access your wallet along with your password. So once you go ahead, once you've saved that file there, Just click continue. And it'll take you to the next screen here. We'll pretty much present to you your private key. This is also a very important uh, set of numbers and letters here when it comes to recovering or backing up your wallet. Or anytime you want to restore your wallet, you'll need your private key. So this is a very important piece of information to have. So write it down to or save it, put in a document, Microsoft Word, Google Documents, just have it always on the ready. And that's pretty much a simple step of generating your own wallet. Next we'll be going over how to view your wallet info. Basically from earlier when I asked you to save your key store file, what you want to do is you want to click on the tab for view wallet info, scroll down here to the key store file because that's how you're going to access your wallet. Go ahead and locate the file, open it up. Enter in the password that you created for this wallet here, because you will need that too. Click unlock. And it brings you right to your crypto wallet. Now here just generates all the information you need. Up here shows your address. You can re-download your key store file. You can resave your private key. And below that generates a QR code. So instead of having this long drawn out alphanumerical address, you can just scan your QR code here out to the left. And of course, same thing with your private key, you can just scan the QR code right here for the private key. And along to the right here will list out your balance of how much ETH you have, as well as your transaction history. Next, we can go over how to check your transaction status in the blockchain network. Every transaction that takes place on the blockchain is followed by a transaction hash. You are going to take that number, which is another one of those alphanumerical long, long character digits there. You know, locate it, paste it right here in the little red box, hit check transaction status, and Mu will let you know if the transaction has been found or if it has not. And if the transaction has been found, it'll list out all the details from the transaction hash, from your address to the recipient as well as the amount, the gas limit, the gas price, and so forth. Next to that would be the ENS, which is also known as the Ethereum Name Service. Now instead of having that long, drawn out alphanumerical address, you can pretty much just simplify it by just generating a simple phrase for, as your address. So opposed to the long, drawn out alphanumeric, we can just call it When you find out the name you want, just click check the ENS and Mu will let you know if it's available and if it's available you can start the bidding process to obtaining your own ENS. Now in order to start the wallet auction, you have to access your wallet so once again locate the key store file. Enter your password to your wallet. Hit unlock. It'll bring you to the next stage, which is pretty much starting the auction. So here you just follow the step-by-step -step bid. You place in the bid amount you want to pay for, as well as you must save the secret phase, because you will need to claim your name later. Once all that's been generated, go ahead and just hit start auction and just follow the step-by-step -step after that. Next, we'll start by sending Ether and tokens. So once again here, you must access your wallet so click on the key store file, 
upload your JSON file here. Enter your password. It'll bring you to the next screen here. Once you've decrypted your wallet, you can access the next part by, again, you must enter in the address of the recipient. So you can either enter in that long, drawn out alphanumerical address, or if your recipient has its own Ethereum name service, you just type in the name .eth there. Next, you select the amount you want to send, as well as the gas limit. All right, next, let's just say you want to send some crypto to an offline account. Very, very similar process as to sending normal tokens to another account. Basically, what you want to do is you want to generate uh, normal information. So the from address would be you put your Ethereum address or your ENS, your Ethereum name service address. Step two would be the offline computer. So you enter in the address of the offline account, the amount you'd like to send, as well as the gas price. Once again, you must access your wallet. So the same thing, go to key store file here. Select the file, click. Once again, enter in that password that you didn't forget. Decrypt the wallet. Next would be to generate the transaction. Once you do that, you must paste the signed transaction from step two down here and then hit send transaction. And that's our basic run through of the My Ether wallet. If you guys have any more questions, comments, or concerns, be sure to hit us up and let us know. This has been Joe with Blockchain WTF, and we'll see everyone next time.